Oh snap, there's a, the, the switchers are right there. Wow, what a way to start a video. Ha, ha, ha. Hua. Vintage CN switchers built in the 50s. Pretty much what I came down here for to start this uh, walking video here in the uh, St. Henri sector of Montreal in the snowstorm. Yeah, out early. It's like after 9.30 a.m. I'm going to try to walk with the wind, not against it. But it's not uh, snowing so much right now. Because I was looking at the radar on my way over here, so... Maybe I'll pick this up when it snows more again, like when I left my place for crying out loud. Bad timing. I wish I had left earlier now. Zoot! Mm. Well, still snowing quite a little bit there, here and there, blowing snow. Might as well keep filming. I mean, I didn't come here just to just to film a train or two, so... I think I heard a sidewalk cleaner behind me. Yeah. Anyway, this is going to be a bits and pieces video, like different parts of town. I'm going to float around as much as I can, as such as I did in last snowstorm. I don't know if it was last year or the year before, though. Ooh, slippery. Yeah, this is the CN main line. And Saint Henri, of course, being one of the uh, oldest parts of town. There, got your signals indicating red, meaning there's no. Usually, it means there's no train coming, and if there is a train coming, it's going to have to stop at those signals. If the signal is clear, it's green. They can proceed at full speed, but if it's yellow, it means that they have to. Uh, they're going to have to stop at this next block. Next block of signals. Hey, there's that old Mercedes wagon I filmed a. Uh, I don't know, a month ago or so. Well, there's not as much snow as I like. I would like right now to be really filming like when I left my house, which I sh should have been filming, but I didn't because I've been filming a lot of my area. So uh, I'll pick this up when it gets, starts to really come down again. Well, the snow, she's a flying again, so I figured, uh, why not start walking, eh? Because, uh, don't look like I'm going to be able to get a train over here. Signals are all red. Look at that. That's the second Astro I see in, like, span of, like, three minutes. also this really little, little itty bitty narrow very old house still here with this old industrial building that as far as I know is still vacant actually you know but checking the radar as I did on the way here with the metro there's there's some more bands of snow coming there it's gonna be on and off as the weather office said at heavy at times Anyway, walking up here too, I'll get to show you something really bizarre I saw here. Because, like, you see, this is part of town where it's really, like, gentrified. You know, it used to be very poor and blue-collar, and now there's a lot of people with money who live here because it's near downtown, and it's all trendy now. So, I saw something really weird walking down this road before. I mean, I just can't believe it, honestly. I get to show you these charming, really charming old houses here. You know? Usually there's a, in the warmer months, there's a really nice looking orange cat over here. Like a Garfield, you know. But then you can see, like, you know, generally speaking, it's not rich here, right? Eh? Look at the sky, it's like blue. Yeah. Over here. Anyway, I've got all day, man. All day long. 
but this if it's not really snowing much there's a lot of blowing snow because the winds gusting up past 50 kilometers an hour it's not really pleasant though walking in this snow because there's quite a bit of it and imagine if there was even twice as much of even harder this is what i'm talking about this is one of the strangest things i've ever seen on the street look at this not one jeep wrangler ford uh, four door three of them i mean talk about bizarre what is this like somebody who owns the jackpot or something they got the jackpot or it's it's not a coincidence come on i even took a picture before when i was walking down the other way where i was before there where i started down there that's who saint Ambroise. one of the annoyances with filming a lot in the snowstorms is uh you have to constantly wipe off the camera lens specifically so i'm gonna have to do that after you know so you see that mountain up there that's mount royal if you don't know montreal or you've never been here it's looking kind of eerie though the sky's getting light and then it's getting dark again and light it's like it looks like there's going to be a snow squall for crying out loud of course, I'm always thankful there are signals over here, and unfortunately, they're all red. Once again, nothing coming. But I can always try this later, but I'll probably be really tired by then, unfortunately. Yeah. Look at that blowing snow, man. Metro station. No. Like in Kazakhstan. <laughs> That's some serious crap right there. That bus that just went by 2010 junk. Yeah, we're on Queen Mary Boulevard here. The Codenage Borough. And it's windy as hell. Oh yeah. Okay, I had to film one of those plows separately because, you know, me, uh, when it comes to going out during a snowstorm, I'm not just filming a walking video as a lot of you gathered there. I try to film all the other things that I film on a regular basis, trains, trucking, emergency vehicles responding. Uh, the only thing I don't really film is the planes and the classic cars, of course. <clears throat> Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow Because the more snow there is, the more beautiful it looks And so far winter's been really shite And, uh, and yeah, the more snow there is to be plowed and uh, for removal Oh, there's a fire truck there hmm. Oh, this is good timing, I come here Snow's starting to really come down again Right on What's these two cop cars here for attempted robbery? I can't believe the story I saw in the other news, in the day in the news. You know, we have here called the SAQ, which is the Société des Alcools du Québec, which is the Quebec Liquor Commission. And some uh, employee at a certain one of the stores, I don't know, he flipped out and he, he beat on some customer because the customer wasn't wearing a mask. Like, I mean, this is what it's come to, eh? You know, like crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Going nice and easy so I can conserve energy, not aggravate my heart. I'm still trying to 100% recover from the stupid pericarditis. Oh, there's an ambulance responding. So, that really, 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 
cut that and like cut it out of the, the whole film here and just like put it with my usual emergency response videos you see i'm expecting a lot of this today on days like this to so monday january 17th 2022 there's trans island street what a name a eh? trans island i have to do a walking video on that one day and i can't believe that's a kia boy that company has come a long way man kia and hyundai holy shit man mind-boggling yeah, it's coming down, it's coming down! Oh, the weather outside is frightful. Send the planes to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. And if I like this, there's good old the Carrie Boulevard, not a place to go for quietness and relaxation, that's for sure. You got the Carry Street, and you got, as you're gonna see in a moment, the highway is submerged. Oh, jeez, Christ, I just slid there. I don't want to slide now, for Christ's sake, I'm holding a coffee. And a camera. And I've already dropped this camera, so I don't want to drop it again. Uh, I'm not rich to really replace, you know? So, oh, it's coming down beautifully now. I love it. God, I love snowstorms. It's the only thing in winter I like, you know? Oh, boy, that looks treacherous. Oui, oh, hey, monsieur. Let's take a look here. There's the carry Highway 15. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's nice and clear, though. Um, I'm not really sure how far I'm going to go with this. I think I'm going to stop here a minute. Yeah. Well, I think I'm just going to continue here heading west on uh, Queen Mary Boulevard here a few blocks then I figure what I'll do is I'll take the 51 and continue to head uh, uh, west southwest and I think I'm just gonna go into NDG and uh, go right to the end of the line maybe go do some train spotting because I haven't filmed a freight yet to train the snow and heavy snow and uh, it seems the bands of pre precipitation are not as uh, as much as uh, when I got up there, so oh, sorry. Actually, now we're in the uh, I, yeah, we're still in the Côte de borough, but it becomes the Hampstead or the town of Hampstead. Hey, there's a Jean Couture here since when? Oh, yeah, I guess I forgot about that. I haven't been on this part of the road in a long time, but I want to walk a few blocks because it gets to be where these, these really expensive, very, very rich, and very old, old homes. You know, and maybe I'm thinking if I'm lucky, I could get an older bus, non-scrap as I call them. You know, the ones with the blue stripes there when the, back when the STM was normal. Like so many companies. Yeah, now again, what's the street called again here? It's funny, I keep thinking about that song, you can leave your hat on. Oh yeah, Cool Brook. Cool Brook. Yeah. I really can't help think of the Christmas carols, because now, you see, it looks like Christmas. And the guide passing me is uh, not appreciated enough. Oh, look at this place. You so? so. Holy mackerel, look at the size of this bohemoth over here. Is this a blazer? What the hell is this thing? It's a box on wheels. Oh, Denali. I don't like that name. It sounds stupid. Stupid! Oh, the weather outside is frightful. Speaking of unappreciated, same thing with these guys. These guys who deliver parcels, for Christ's sake. Very unappreciated. These guys got their fucking work cut out for them more than ever. Look at that. Oh, oh. We're having a heat wave, a tropical heat wave. One of my fans around here once. No, no, it wasn't one of my. Yeah, I did, but that was near, near near the metro station where it was before near Snowden. But there was another old man I met. I think here last uh, fall. I think it was a really nice old guy. He's into cars and 
I just met him on the street. I was doing a walking video around here. And just... Oh, by the way, I should mention that there's also another reason why I'm going this way. It's because it's because the wind is coming from over there from the east, northeast. So, yeah. Oh. And when you see a, a fire hydrant that's blue like that, that type of blue, that's a fire hydrant for the metro system because the uh, the blue line actually extends all the way under here for the uh, garage. Though I'm going to again try to do as much walking in different boroughs of the city as I can when it's snowing, of course. Look at this guy We're on a bike, man. I don't know how people can bike in the snow and ice. I just I can't fathom it. I just I don't get it at all. Je comprends absolument rien. See what I just said in French there? Je comprends absolument rien means I don't understand anything. You know? Getting into these old homes here. Another one? Beautiful though. God, is it ever beautiful. And again, because of global warming, I had people kept asking, where is the snow removal videos? What are you going to put up the snow removal videos? Well, I haven't, I've done one. And it wasn't even really much snow to remove to begin with anyway. So, I'll never always remember this building because a ton of buildings that look like that that have this two-tone you know with those beige lines whatever i also took a picture of an old classic bus nova bus classic i think it was right here right at the stop beautiful type of picture i would love to i think one day i'll actually have it blown up you know so i'm gonna go another block and then i think that's it because i just wanted to show some of these really beautiful homes here there you go there you go whoa geez, holy mackerel that's close street am I now? McDonald or something? Oh yeah, that was a good good guess actually. That's a good guess. Yeah, Volvo and a GMC and they're both white. Oh damn, there's a grater there. Crap. Especially when it films those. They're the biggest plows you can have. Like I said in one of my plow videos I put up recently, the only times you ever see those in the street really is just when there's a snowstorm or afterward, look, there's no. Yeah, right on, man. Right on. Happy to film those two plows there. I was just talking about that, the road graders. I don't remember if I was talking about that coincidentally. They happen to show up in the frame or whatever. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm content. And you know you're in a very Anglo part of town when it doesn't say arrêt on the stop sign, but it says stop. You see? Somebody graffitied something on there. Probably related to that. You know. Damn, there's no older buses running right now. Shoot. Well, like I always said, at least these hybrids, I think they're junk, but at least they're more comfortable than the, than the uh, 2009, 10, and so forth buses. But the windows don't open. Like, except for those little top windows. Like, there's like two windows that open. It's a joke, really. Now, this over here, this is actually an emergency entrance and exit for the blue line at the end of the tracks in the garage in case of a fire or, or a flood. Look at these places, huh? Wow. I remember when I told my brother one time, I did a walking video here and he's like, he, he was like surprised like and almost stunned that I was like, he's like, oh, you can't really show the houses there to rich people. I'm like, yeah, of course I can. It's a free country, man, you know? Man, if it ever comes to a point where I wouldn't be able to do that because they're rich and have all the power, well, then it's like, yeah, goodbye freedom. And already the freedom is being questioned with COVID restrictions and all this crap. You know, that's, that's really annoying. You know, non-vaxxers, anti-vaxxers, all this shit. Bunch of garbage. All right, I'm going to go until the, uh, the next uh, stop because I, I don't want to use too much battery. Even I have two batteries, but one of them is a bit weak. Actually, quite a bit weak because it's old and it's a friggin... It's not a genuine Canon battery beautiful homes oh boy i'm glad i came down here very nice look at that gorgeous you know there's a plane going by it'd be funny actually if i stop at the next stop the bus stop and 
the bus that comes happens to be a, an older bus, that would, be, that would be neat. It's possible because th this is one of the most heavily used uh, bus lines, the 51 route, uh, running from down there in Montreal West all the way to uh, all the way to Rosemont Station in East End. So that's a very long line. It's a very, very busy line. Look at this, eh? Like so many public securities in different towns anywhere. Look how they, they're all decked out like police cars. They look like cop cars, eh? Isn't that something? Unbelievable. Look, they got the push bars, everything. Man, it's a far cry from the old days, eh? Don't get me wrong. I love cop cars. They're impressive. But again, they're not police. So you can imagine how it makes them look and feel like they're cops when they're not. That's weird. It's a strange time we're living in. You know, especially when uh, cops should be more... Uh, you know, and people in secure should be more, I don't know, how should I say, uh, assimilated to uh, friendliness and uh, getting along with the public kind of thing, you know? Well, now that I got off the 51 bus a few minutes ago, made my way now into Montreal West. Still moving westward. Almost at the end of Sherbrooke Street here. And uh, NDG is, NDG Borough is this way. One of the things that also moved me from doing a, continuing my walking here in the storm is uh, right here, we're next to the uh, the commuter train line, the uh, XO, which is a stupid name, but anyway, it used to be called the AMT. Whoa, look at that. Blowing snow. Jeez, they haven't cleared really the sidewalk here much. It's really bad here. My brother got married at this church back in uh, 2003. It's funny because I also remember that because that was also the year my Uncle Steve quit smoking. Oddly enough, he fucking died uh, 10 years later of C COPD. What is it called? Chronic something pulmonary disease? Chronic something. Yeah. Yeah. I get on the bus before and I tell the guy, I said, uh, I said, uh, well, I talked to him in French. I said, hey, beautiful weather, eh? Uh, he wasn't happy. He was, he doesn't like, I told him I like snowstorms. He says he doesn't like snowstorms. Uh, I told him, I said, you can't like everything. We all have our tastes, you know? Of course, that's what's cool about being a YouTuber. It's unique where I live in a sense that, you know, we do get a lot of snow. Well, not as much as we used to. And a lot of places in the world don't even have snow or rarely, rarely, rarely ever see it, you know? So, once I get to that street over there, that's Westminster, I'm going to make a left, go down to uh, St. Jacques Street there and go towards the overpass. But the odds of actually getting a freight, freight train down there, I don't know, because it's so windy. It's kind of open over there, I don't know, we'll see, I'm going to see how it goes. And then I'm going to probably venture into LaSalle. Because I remembered that they have some old, uh, old uh, road grader plows and stuff like that, you know. So, Ballantine, which continues. I know because I used to have a couple of friends that lived on that street. Interesting guys. They didn't lack in character. They were half Chinese, half German. I mean, we'll talk about a mix, eh? <laughs> you know. I'm gonna uh, go over here. Ah, beautiful day. <laughs> like my sarcasm. I'm trying to keep telling myself I've got to slow it down. I want to save energy. Take it easy there, you know? No rush. It would be nice if a train came around here. No. Right now, here at rush hour, this is like the most dangerous crossing in the city because we don't have a ton of crossings in this city, but this is really the most dangerous one. There's three tracks and there's a lot of commuter trains staying on or off island. Like I said, this is Westminster Avenue. Well, no trains coming because there's no signals lit up. Because those signals here on this line, they only light up when there's a train coming. So, yeah. Look at 
this here. This is a uh, back in the old days. It's all manually operated to switch all the tracks. The control tower was right here. Now it's all centralized. Eh? Yeah. I think I'm going to stop filming here though because again I'm going to say battery power because the cold isn't very good on batteries. So. Yeah. I just came from over there, right? Coming from the left on the Westminster, and I just wanted to show this really quickly because I think this is so beautiful here. It almost looks like it's in the country. Tons of trees here, the brick wall coming to the uh, the end of Montreal West, town of Montreal West, and going into Ville Saint Pierre. And Ville Saint Pierre is uh, part of Lachine. But I'm going into La Salle, which is south of here. So still snowing pretty good. Still a good wind. Supposed to, winds are supposed to be sustained at 40 kilometers an hour, uh, gusting to 70 this afternoon. So I don't know how long I'm going to be able to tough that out. Really, it's uh, pretty bad. You gotta try to stay out of the bloody wind, you know. It's just annoying, never mind the cold. I'm actually fine, it's just my toes are getting cold. I should have put on an extra pair of socks, actually. Even though I got thick wool socks, I should have put on another pair, really. Oh well, you live and learn, baby. Yeah. White out conditions almost, eh? Yeah, here on the Rue Saint-Jacques. But what's funny is that in Montreal West, because it's so Anglo in roots, it's so Anglophone English, they didn't like the, they didn't want to have Saint-Jacques, so they called this that part of this of this street Avon, which is so stupid. And they did something like that in TMR also with with uh, Jean Talon Street, which runs through TMR, which is also very Anglo, but I don't remember what the hell it's what the hell they they call that part of uh, Jean Talon for a few blocks. Anyway, smell you later. All right, guys, I took a Took a very long 191 bus ride there from uh, where I was in Ville St. Pierre and Lachine. I'm all the way in Dorval here. Walking westerly still, walking with the wind, or trying to. And uh, snow tapered off, but I checked the radar, there's going to be some more heavy snow coming still. Before it's all said and done, as they say. Not too much traffic going on on a Monday, that's for sure. A lot of people are avoiding this crap. It's beautiful, but yeah. It, conditions are kind of treacherous and uh, of course I came down here to not only film some trucking but also uh, obviously so as I mentioned before trying to get a film a freight or two train there in the snow or via rail whatever so I figured I would add to this because I, don't know, I was a little pretty tired by when I was on the bus I was enjoying the rest sitting down there but I don't know uh, if I'm gonna do more walking videos uh, to this uh, snowstorm special, let's call it. Because uh, again, I don't know if I'm going to be feeling it later. So, and I don't. I'm not pretty sure. I'm not going to go. Uh, not going to go. Wow! Look at this fucking Porsche in the snow. Look at that electric. Interesting. Bad color though. Ugh. God, I hate that color. Well, on a car anyway. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to be going more. Uh, definitely not going to be going more west than this. You know. I suppose if it wasn't so damn windy, I would. But it's just the wind is just terrible. Terrible. What's this coming? Oh boy. I don't know, he's not plowing. God, I almost wish I was wearing my sunglasses actually. Yeah, city of Dorval truck there, Salter. There's your motel here, quality suites. That's uh, that. Uh, so, by the way, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention this is Chemin Heron here, this road. This is Highway 20. Even Highway 20 doesn't have a hell of a lot of traffic. The CN train line and the CP line running with it are behind uh, the uh, McDonald's and the rent car and all that stuff here. But that overpass over there, that's uh, uh, Fenelon Avenue. I think I'm gonna film more than that walk. I might film past it though. I'm gonna stop here. Demain l'hiver, je m'en fous, je m'en vais au soleil. That's a classic Quebecois hip hop rock song by Monsieur Robert Chalabois. In my opinion, the finest French Quebecois artist there ever was. I'm not gonna film this too much longer. Just a little bit more there, because uh, I want to save some bat battery there. So, uh, 
guy I know would say, look at that sun, it just wants to come out there. Here in Darval. Yeah, like I said, the CN, the CP line are right here. The CP line is behind the CN. So it's easier to miss a, C, a C, uh, CP train there. You know. Maybe if you're lucky, we might, uh, might get a plane or two landing there. Uh, yeah, because of the uh, wind is coming from the east. Though, so. They land, they land into the wind, they take off into the wind or else it would be uh, perhaps dangerous, too unstable for a plane. There's this like pet grooming shop with this complex with this freaking Starbucks is. You should see sometimes on a nice day, there's like a, literally a lineup of cars outside of the parking area into this road for people to... Anyway, people with a lot of dough bringing their pets out here to get taken care of there, you know? Boy, this really does look like the dead of winter, though, I must say. Another reason why I was I, I wanted to come here, too, is because of the fact that I know that the bus service here is excellent. You know, you got the 211, the 411, all these different buses. So you shouldn't wait long for a bus, really, even if there is a snowstorm. Even though, mind you, these, these scraps there, these low-floor buses, they don't get all the snow. I was in one earlier, like I said, on the 191 road, and the uh, freaking damn thing almost got stuck. The old buses, the classics, new looks, high floor buses, they never got stuck. Never. Anyway. I'm going to film a few more minutes for you all there. But I'll try to add more to this later. We'll see because, again, there's still a lot of snow left falling. And like I said, what shows on the radar. But I'm going to stop here for a while. This is one of the stops. I, I, I One of the places I stop here to do train spotting because there's a shelter here. And then, of course, further down there is Pine Beach. Oh, there's a guy who happens to be there. Oh, this guy's nice. Nice. Cool. Oh, maybe I will walk to Pine Beach, actually. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Well, having just got out of the metro station here at Joliet, back in Hochelaga, where I live, I'm going home. Just got the idea to uh, add more to this video because I don't know if I'm going to actually uh, do filming more later because I'm really beat right now. And uh, if you don't know me uh, well enough, well, I've been uh, suffering from an annoying heart condition called pericarditis for freaking over two years. So some days are good, some days are bad. Like I'm having a good day, but I'm getting I'm feeling very fatigued now and. Uh, it's time to quit, but again, it's snowing hard still, so I figured, uh, when, like I said, I'll just add a little bit more to it and uh, get to see different parts of the city and why I love the city and why people live here and why Montreal is unfortunately more popular than ever. And I say unfortunately because it means more people, more traffic, more everything. Not necessarily good. I thought the wind was coming from the north, the northeast. It's like it's this wind is actually, this snow is coming towards me. What the hell? But anyway, it's a tough little camera. It's actually better than uh, it's rain. You don't want to really get water in this thing. That's the thing, you know. So this is typically the way I go home here. I'm not going to film walking all the way home, but uh, I'm going to film for a few minutes here, you know. Yeah, I mean, I'm satisfied. The only thing I wish I could have got today was uh, uh, some, uh, some train action, but I was in two places and it just didn't happen, as you saw. So... Can't wait around forever, eh? You know. Yeah, in one of the oldest parts of town here, Hoshalaga, with your uh, classic, I guess you could say, uh, ex exterior staircases. Yeah, the wind's coming from the south. What the hell? We go, ready for some plowing. Yeah, I don't know how long I'm gonna film this for, too, also because, again, like I said, the wind's suddenly coming from the south. It's supposed to be coming from the northeast which is the way the system has been moving in ever since it started snowing, I guess, overnight. Oh yeah. That boy. Gonna be hearing a lot of that this evening in my, where I live. And of course, the snow removal operations are gonna start tomorrow. And thankfully, I've got a great father-in-law. He's gonna drive me around there in the west where I was, and more west even, to see if we can find some snow removal operations to film. I'm hoping maybe I can find two or three. 
because again, uh, I can't float around forever like usual, you know, like I used to because I don't have the energy and again, I can't push it too much. I didn't even really want to, uh, I didn't even really want to, uh, uh, you know, walk home because I just didn't feel like waiting too long for the bus. There's different buses. Jesus Christ, the amount of time you waste waiting for buses, it's crazy, you know, so. And I got a friend of mine, actually, who lives uh, right on this block right here, actually. He, uh, he's a car fanatic like me there. Oh, that's it. I don't think I'm going to feel more than that because, again, everything's coming. All the bloody, bloody snow is bloody through, blowing towards me, and it's not too good for the camera, so I'm going to think I'm going to have to stop this here. Again, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.